Last week, React Navigation was launched. It was made as a collaboration of Facebook engineers, Exponent, and the React Native community. Navigation capability is something React Native was severely lacking, as you can see in Product Pane. This is really exciting. Let's see how to get started with it. We have created a simple app to work with React Navigation. Let's add the library. React Navigation has three basic navigators. Stack, Tab, and Drawer. Let's check the Stack Navigator. Let's move the content from an empty app.js file. As you can see, nothing has changed. Let's test the Stack Navigator. As you can see, you can already see the header here. We need to create a navigation options for our screen. In the navigation options, we can configure information such as title, header, elements on the right, on the left, and more. And here in the Stack Navigator configuration, it has routes for our app, and also we can have an initial route, path, and others. With this configuration, you can see the home screen here in our header. As we don't have any other screens, this will be the only change we can see. Let's add one more screen and test the Stack Navigator. We have added our second screen. How can you go to our second screen? First, we need to add it in our routes and then create a button and use the navigate method. We need to pass the navigate method to our component. Done. With this, we can go to our second screen. We have released a tag in our repository with the code so far. Let's check the tab navigator. To change the tab navigator, what we should do is change our entry point to tab navigator. With this, if you refresh our app, you should be able to see the tab bar. Let's add some icons for each tab. We set the icons in our navigation option. We use the same navigation options for the two screens. This will be everything from changing our stack navigation to the tab bar. Also, we don't need to pass the navigation as props because the navigation is completely done by our tab. You can find in our repository all the code for tab bar navigation. The last type of navigation we will see is the drawer navigation. We just need to change the type of navigation at the beginning of our app. This will give us a drawer navigation with these two screens. To add the icons, we just need to change the navigation options of each screen. We just need to change the tab bar to a drawer. For the two screens we have. Isn't this awesome? It's very easy. You can also see this entire code on our repository. Hope you enjoyed.